Hi guys, Flight Scar here. Today I'm going to show you how to take an existing item that is in the base game and add it into workshop mode for you to build in your settlements. So we are inside the creation kit with nothing loaded and what we're going to do is we're going to load up our mod that we created in lesson zero by going to file then data finding our mod in the list double click it to make sure that it is going to be pulled in and we don't need to worry about the master files as the mod has the master file included already so we can see here that fallout4.esm is there what we want to do before we get going is press this button set as active file and that will just ensure that any changes we make will be applied in our ESM and not the base game. Once that is done, press OK and once again don't click anything, this CK will fall over and die and take a couple of minutes to load and I will be back. So now that the CK is loaded um, I'm going to find an item that I want to make buildable and just as a good tip um, it's advisable just to put some random letters into this filter because when you select a category it tries to load um, every record in that given category so I'm going to add a static item which is things like your walls, uh, your floor, your tables basically anything that isn't built, uh, isn't interactable um, so if I click on this nothing will show because I've got this filter in and I'm just going to see if there is a table alright so we have quite a lot of tables in here and if I just take one of these um, just take fancy table rectangle or one and right click click preview to see what it is right so I'm gonna just take this item and if I was to make this item buildable anywhere that this record appears in game um, it would become scrappable and ideally what you want to do is right click again and click duplicate and you will see fancy table rectangle 01 copy and what we can do here is if we slowly double click get rid of the copy off the end of the name uh, what many people do is they prefix their items so I just use the initials of the mod that I'm making so I'm gonna rename this FCM underscore fancy table rectangle 01 and since I've already duplicate, duplicated it um, when this pops up uh, do you want to create a new item I will click no and it will ask if I'm sure and I'm ju I just say yes and now this is the own like this is my fancy table um, it's not going to affect any records involving this fancy table just my own and what I'm going to do now is scroll up to the items section and make this a bit bigger we have the constructible object uh, category and just so uh, we don't end up having lots of records popping up I'm going to put my prefix in there and uh, what I'm actually going to do is use an existing um, record so I'm just going to find a table just to kind of ah, here we go so the table that I've picked is already uh, constructible so again right click on 
the on any item, doesn't matter which one it is, uh, it's kind of a good idea to pick something that is similar to what you are using because it gives you an idea of um, how much scrap that it gives you when you build it uh, and how, how much it is when you scrap it as well. So I'm just going to copy fancy table rectangle 01 and click duplicate. Right, and same again, we've now got uh, a second one and it's got the copy on the end and the difference is this item also has workshop underscore co underscore co is constructible object and it's just a easy way to work out what records are what so what I'm going to do is slowly double click and rename this again but I'm not going to worry about workshop you can leave that in but I'm going to get rid of workshop and put in my prefix which is FCM and same again since I've already duplicated it I will click no and then yes All right. and what we can do then is if we right click and click edit once the window pops up we've now got the constructible object um, where it kind of fits in so it's a furniture uh, workbench not, not sure um, the difference between all of these um, for most of the things that I build I either choose workbench type settlement or work type uh, workbench type exterior <coughs> but for this um, I'm just going to leave it as it is as furniture All right and you got the sounds for when you place it or uh, pick it up and pick it up and put down and of course you have your created object so this is pointing to the fancy table rectangle 01 which will mean any that are already available they will be able to use this constructible object and you'll get back one steel and two wood from it if you were to scrap it but I'm gonna change the created item to my prefix one which is FCM fancy table rectangle one and now this constructible object will use my table alright the recipe filters um, determine where um, the item ends up in your build menu so this one that's already applied workshop recipe filter furniture tables means it will sit in furniture and in tables so when you go into build mode you scroll to furniture then go into tables and you'll find it there but I'm not gonna put it in there so I'm gonna right click and click delete and I'm gonna click add because the recipe filter that I want to use already exists and just for ease I'm going to add it to the special menu and that come it's not listed as special in here so if I type workshop and then asterisk which will allow me to skip parts of it I know that um, it's the it's a quest uh, tab that's what it's marked as but I'm not sure like I, I don't want to have to write recipe filter build it like I don't want to write all that in so I'm just gonna put the asterisk there and type in quest that was just uh, recipe filter quest and I'm gonna click on that and press OK and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make it cheaper to make but I will also get less scrap when I uh, scrap it so I'd only get one wood from that and I'm gonna give it a recipe uh, a description sorry and it'll just be table 
added by flight scar. Alright, the match conditions or uh, they are used for things like uh, your picket fence magazines so uh, you need to have read a picket magazine to access uh, certain items so you can just put that in there I'm not going to go over that today um, but if you don't want to make your items appear straight away you might want somebody to collect an item or do a quest or something you can add this uh, this condition into here Alright, so once we are done, um, I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to ignore the fact that it doesn't like my name. Just click ignore and then press OK. So that item is now completely ready. And if we were to load up the game, we would see it in there. But I am going to add, well, I'm going to change the name of my table. Uh, by right clicking on the table in statics click edit because it's just marked as table and I'm going to uh, change it to flight scars personal table and that's what will show up in the build menu so if I click OK that's everything done and we click file then save and what we want to do is we want to activate our mod um, I use Vortex uh, but you, if you use um, Nexus Mod Manager or Mod Organizer 2 like just, it's just like adding, uh, activating an existing mod that you've downloaded and I will jump into game and I will show you our fancy new table So we are now in game and I added the table to the special menu so if I just go into here and scroll across we will see Flight Scar's personal table. It's available to build with two wood and one steel and we can just place it down. No problems there. And if we are to scrap it we can do that and um, that's it for this video and i shall see you guys in the next one thanks bye